We're going to be looking at the Maxpedition Lanata. This is an excellent pack from the Gear Slinger series. And as you can see, compact. We're going to take a look at all the different features and how rugged these wonderful packs are. Maxpedition makes great products. And you can go to maxpedition.com to check out all of their products. But this Lanata is one of my favorites. Now, one of the things that I love about Gear Slinger is that it's very versatile. If I'm in and out of my car, if I'm on short trips and getting into my pack very often, this is an incredible setup. Being able to bring this around with a strap and still stand or in a squatting position, be able to access all the different pockets. It's just a really great system. Backpack is really more difficult. I can, I can access any of my gear just standing. Now let's take a look at some of the versatility. Uh, of course, you know, you have it in this position. It's very easy to attach with these Duraflex uh, quick release buckles and I can release it, bring it around. That's the first way is just having it strapped around your body. Also, moving in and out of the car or taking it, it has a great grab handle here that I can pick it up, put it in the car, bring it out, stow it away when I need to, get ready to go, I can grab it and go. One of the things too, if it's in the buckle position, one way that I tend to wear it a lot is just strapped over my shoulder. And I grab it, I can take it, get to a certain place, put it on the ground, get to it. It's important to bring it around here, but I need to run. It is still loose. So I have a stowaway strap right here that's secured in the back. Bring it around with this little fast text buckle. I can run at a full bore and still retain the stability of this pack. Hiking into an extended area, this gives it a lot more comfort. One of the other things about this Lunata is that it is fully ambidextrous. This center strap is dead center. But here on the back, the back strap will move from side to side. Now I'm ambidextrous. If one shoulder gets tired, I'm ready for the other. This third strap as well will move from here to the other side if needed. We're going to take a look at first at the Lunata at the outside of the bag. And there are so many different features. I'm going to try to go through them kind of quickly because you can get bogged down because there's just so many things to talk about with this bag. But the first thing you see uh, is the PALS webbing that comes around on most of the pockets here on the side, the other side as well, with uh, multiple Duraflex D-rings. These are very uh, just really nice quality D-rings here and here, even on the um, strap itself, even. Uh, we have an um, elastic band here, D-rings, goes all the way down. Great Fastex buckle around the front. These are actually a little bit quieter than most. Your Duraflex buckles are some of your top quality. This really nice grab handle. Uh, it has a neoprene sleeve on it. It is really great. I, this is one way I transport most of my different kinds of bags that I get from Expedition is with the grab handle. I grab it, put it in the car, uh, whatever I'm going to do. I get it, put it on the ground. When I'm getting ready to work on it, it just makes it really easy to grab hold of and have a good secure grip. If you're gripping this bag from the outside or whatever bag you're having, uh, sometimes it can slip, especially in wet conditions. Now we're going to take a look at each of the different pockets. And I'm going to start with this front pocket, go down to the lower pocket, and then go into the, the inside. But I'm going to tell you something about my reviews. I never review something straight out of the box. I've had this pack for three months. And I have really been putting it through a lot of trials during that three months. Been carrying it everywhere I go. So there's a lot of stuff in here. And the one thing I want to say about that is... You know, you can, you should customize your pack for your situation. And so this isn't about show and tell about what I have in this pack, but maybe it'll give you a few ideas. I'm going to go through the contents very quickly, but I'm mainly going to focus on the features of the pack. The back of the Lunata is a very nice rubberized mesh finish. Makes it really comfortable to carry, especially in an extended uh, hike or when you're working. One thing that I do, there's a, um, a rubberized keeper here with Velcro. 
and I keep my this strap, this third strap, stowed away in this keeper. And that way it's very quick access. All I have to do is lift it up, but it also keeps it comfortable here when you're wearing it. It does have a D-ring here and a snap so you can get right to this rear compartment, which has a plush field for hook and loop. But this is really designed as a concealed carry pouch. As you can see here, I have a small kel P32 down in here. Uh, I will say that if this pack is packed out like I have it now, uh, it's going to take a smaller pistol to go in here. Also, in that pouch, I do have, which is not necessary for this one, but I do have one of the universal hook and loop holsters from Maxpedition tucked down in here. So, once it's put in, it goes back in and it stays very secure. Now, the strap itself has closed foam padding all the way through, which really makes it very comfortable, of course, as you can imagine. One of the things that it has also, again, is that rubberized mesh comfort zone right here and uh, it keeps things cool and really makes it comfortable to wear with an extended stay as it also it bails out here to extend the comfort everything this pack is designed to be as comfortable as possible a water bladder can be put in the back here and in fact this elastic keeper would be great to hold your um, your a tube your drinking tube right here this can be used in an urban setting of course it definitely can be used in the wild it can be used for EDC and honestly that's what I use it for I keep this in my car uh, or near my person at all times it has a lot of my gear in it if I need to get to something it's right there at my fingertips it's so compact and handy though it makes it a joy to keep around it's not a lot of trouble. This front pouch it's very important that you keep things that you really need to get access to quickly one side here we go we have a divider that goes in the middle with elastic bands so one of the things that Maxpedition is always good for is to really get organized if you're like me I have a tendency to be unorganized and this really helps me to get all my stuff in one place one of the most important things I have is a, a light and here's a Leatherman multi-tool I keep those up here because I need them I have a little Swiss Microtech tool as well but I do keep other items in here too but that Again, we're going to show you the pack, and as you can see, has this zipper here, I mean this little divider. You can really get things organized here. Now, this front pouch here, it is a small little front zippered pouch. I keep gloves in here, and whenever you're outdoors and doing things, it's always good to have a pair of gloves, even if you're helping somebody move something. Always nice to have a good pair of gloves. There are other things that will fit down in here, but I try to keep this pouch kind of free. This next pouch, I keep a lot of small details in. It is a dual zipper again, so that way you can open it up from either side if you need to. Here I have a right in the rain pad, and I have a, there's a compartment that fits back in here. It's thin. Have a little um, clipper, fingernail clippers. Have a space pen. Keep some zip ties in here as well. On the front end, we have elastic little loops where you can really organize. Cold Steel Voyager, have some Advil. I usually keep a lighter in here, which I pulled out just a minute ago. And then I keep a, some chapstick. And if you're going to ever be out in the wind much, chapstick is invaluable. Uh, here's another set of elastic here. Now, just because you have all this elastic doesn't mean you necessarily have to use it, but it sure does give you options to highly customize the pack that suits you. You know, I really like this green color. Uh, it does come in a khaki, which is also one of my favorite colors. It comes in foliage, a black, comes in ACU. Uh, you can go to Maxpedition to really get all the different colors, and there are a lot of great pictures. So make, make sure you go to Maxpedition.com and check out the different photos and a lot of the description. Uh, this thing holds 390 cubic inches, of has that much space. The one I will, I didn't give you the dimensions on the other pockets, and you can check that out. This big pocket here with the two, the main compartment, has 12 by 9 by 3. So it's a, it's a nice roomy pocket for this size. But I'm going to tell you something about a big pocket. If you're not careful, you just pack things in, and it's hard to keep up with what you have. So I like to have smaller packs inside the larger pack. And the first thing I'm going to pull out here is this R7 Tactical Shell. I'm going to be doing a review on this. This is an incredible little piece, and I have some really cool items in here, but you'll have to wait on my review for that. But this is cool. Um, then also, I have a, this is my uh, 
individual first aid kit, also from Expedition, and just a great system review coming on that as well. Now, continuing on to the main part of the pack, down in the bottom, I do keep special stuff. And one of the things that I always try to keep is something to cover my head. And I have a, just a really nice, large, floppy, boonie style hat. And this is for rain or doing whatever I need to keep the sun out. And it's really over protection, which I like. Um, I do have a space blanket. And down in there, I have a heavy mill trash bag. This is construction grade. You can even use this as an improvised shelter if needed and a lot of other things to keep the rain off in case you ever have a flat tire or whatever. You can wrap up in this or a poncho would also do well. But you can see how much room. I've just pulled those packs out. All of this stuff still has plenty of room. On the back side there is a keeper here with this velcro and it has a nice large pouch uh, inside here I have a US Air Force survival guide and I do have some bug spray. Now we're getting out of the bug season but and I'll remove this in the next few weeks but this is great to have uh, for those times when you're out. Now we got this flipped around and right here is a small little admin pouch with a zipper and inside there I keep a lot of different things. I have a compass and a little sewing kit and some more zip ties and some other things that I have pulled out of here since. But this is a great right up the front little pouch. I do usually keep a frontier straw in this as well. And that will filter about 20 gallons of water. And that's a really handy thing to have in case of an emergency. Okay, here we have another filled loop here. You could even use this for concealed carry if you wanted to kind of go a little deeper than having it on the outside of your pouch. And in there, I have a little fire starting capability, a little um, one of the little Swedish fire steels with a little blade to access it. Actually, this was a cheap little piece, but it really functions well as a fire starter. Also have this little cliff bar in case I get hungry. Some trioxane fuel fire starting capability here or even cooking a little something. And then I have a knife sharpener. Those things are kind of down deep. Those are things that I don't necessarily need on a regular basis. The cliff bar may be one thing, but I usually keep that, try to keep it out of the way so I'm not tempted to use it. And as you can see, there's this field here, and it attaches right here to this Velcro. So everything stays very secure as well. So as you can see, there are many ways to be very highly organized with this pack. Of course, we have grommets on the bottom in case there's any moisture that gets in here. One thing about these packs, too, they're triple polyurethane coated. So they're very resistant, water resistant. But they're also, they also have a really nice DuPont finish on them that keeps it uh, from grime and also from water and different things. It keeps them resistant. You never need to wash any of Max Expedition's products. Just take a damp cloth and rub it down and let it air dry. All of Max Expedition's products use a thousand denier uh, ballistic nylon and it's triple coated with polyurethane. And I'm going to show you something here, and I've done this on some of my other reviews of Maxpedition gear. Look how this just, just beads up, doesn't settle. Now one thing you'll notice is any of the strapping and the webbing will retain a little bit of the moisture, but because it's on the outside of the pack, it dries quickly. Now everybody that knows my channel knows what a big Maxpedition fan I am. And because of that, Maxpedition will give you 10% off of your order if you use Such in the coupon code. This is not just for the Lanata. It's for anything that you want to order from Maxpedition. Check them out. It's a great source. The website is just incredible. There's always new things that they're coming out with. Uh, a lot of military contracts now are being filled using Maxpedition gear. This is, in my opinion, the best gear on the market Period. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Hey guys, run down to maxpedition.com right now and pick you up a Lunada. I mean, how could you not like that name? Lunada. Yeah, baby.